Hey you guys, what is up? It is Ivy, Concrete Catwalk. Those of you who are new to my channel, welcome. I'm a reseller who loves all things current vintage, new, nearly new, estate sailing, sailing, you name it, I love it. To my catwalkers, mwah. welcome back to a new video this Sunday. Those of you who are newly subscribed, thank you so much for coming along together with me on this journey. You guys, I am going to jump into this. Something that I want to talk to you guys about. It's also something I want to get your input and opinion about. This all stems from an article that I read last week in the New York Times. I'm going to leave a link to that article in the description box below. I'm not going to hold this up, but I wanted to bring this to your attention. Let me just kind of set this up because I always do this. You know I come with my pointer and I come with notes when it's something I want to talk about. So, this article that I came across, we talking about Hermes bags and if you own an Hermes bag that to some people if that bag is in pristine condition to some people it looks tacky. Okay, I, when I read the title of that article I had to sit a minute and I had to process it because I was trying to understand. Let me jump into this about how I feel. The thing that really irks me about this article it is so divisive and fashion has a way of being so catty in an arena where it is already so 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 competitive by way of offerings from designers and things you can choose and what's in and what's out and what's not and what's hot i feel like it's almost as if to say that if a person chooses to buy a brand new bag, that there's a problem with it versus a person who decides to buy a pre-loved bag and it is not coming from the store with all the wrappings and trimmings. And we know how it works for Hermes on down the line. When you buy something brand new, we get it. But the thing about it is, I feel that the bigger issue is it should be about what is more comfortable for the given person. I am not the type of person who prefers bags that are brand spanking new. I've been there, I've done that, it doesn't work for me, and I am fine with it. I am also fine with people who decide that they want to go and they want to purchase a bag brand new because they want that experience and that is what they want to introduce to their respective collection. But apparently, for some, it ticks the box where they feel as though because the person or persons make a choice that the bag has to be a certain type of way and they want to display it and they want to be proud of it that it translates as tacky the same can be said for the other side of the fence where there are persons who feel that individuals who buy bags that are in less than stellar condition or used or pre-loved or whatever you want to call it that it comes across as tacky kind of like having something that you're, you're, you're trying to portray, but it is not in the brand spanking new stellar condition that it once was in. And I call silly on both sides of the fence when it comes down to the sole piece being whether it is a new Hermes, pre-loved Hermes, new Chanel, pre-loved Chanel, it doesn't change the fact that the bag is the bag. And the issue at hand shouldn't even be about whether it's tacky or not. It should be based upon what the person's comfort level is and what it is that is comfortable for them to spend. And I feel like fashion and this whole genre of whatever the subsets are within fashion, clothes, accessories, designer bags, designer goods, whatever, it gets to the point where it's almost as if you have sides where you've got, oh, I buy brand new, oh, I buy pre-loved, there's a problem with what you do because it's this, and there's a problem with you with what you do because you buy pre-loved and it's this. When in actuality, I think that the whole focus should be, it is all about choices. Fashion and things that people like to buy is all about choices. And I think that gets into the mix about when people start to be very catty and judgy about what a person chooses that they want to do. I look at it from the perspective that if you go and you decide you want to buy a bag, whether it be 
new or whether it be something else, that is strictly your business. That is between you and your bank account. That is what makes liking fashion so dislikable. There's so much divisiveness. There is so much pettiness behind things that are just that. They are things, they are tangibles. They are things that don't amount to anything at the end of the day. If you really think about it, whether that Hermes is brands made new, pre-loved, beat up, drug all over the creation, it is not going with you when you leave this earth. Whatever side you fall on, it shouldn't matter one way or the other. And I think when people take the time to put it into words and to express it, what they feel about a brand new bag and someone getting a brand new Hermes bag and it translates to tacky, what's really important here? I don't care if somebody buys a brand new bag, that's up to them, that's how they wanna do it. Just like they shouldn't care if I wanna go on the hunt for a pre-loved Hermes bag because that is what I like and that's what's comfortable for me. Seriously, I just think that the article in and of itself really hones in on how silly fashion can be at times. Ultimately, I think that, and I've always felt this way, it should be fun. It should be something that you want to do, things that you want to buy because they are things that you would like to have, irregardless of whether it's new or used or whatever in between. You guys, let me know in the comments below your thoughts about Hermes and if owning a brand new one is something that you feel is tacky or if owning a free loved one is something that you feel is tacky or does it just not matter? Just wanted to give you my perspective on this whole thing about that. Let me know in the comments below. If you do not want to miss out on anything that I post, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I post videos every Sunday. If you do not want to miss out, tap that bell and you will receive notifications each time I post a new video. Links to my socials will be in the description box below. If you want to check out my closet, it is on Poshmark. That will also be in the description box below as well. Guys, thank you so much for stopping by this week. Be safe. See you all next Sunday.